Hey guys, recently we shipped a feature that allows self-hosted instances to specify what domains they want to be embedded on. And this might seem like a small feature, but it actually has a huge impact on the security and privacy of your apps. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up this embed restricting or limiting feature and show you how it all works. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. All right, so there are two ways to restrict embeds on AppSmith. You can use the GUI through the admin settings, and also there's a CLI by editing the environment variables. I'll show you both, but let's start with the GUI because it's actually simpler to set up. So right here, I am within my AppSmith application, and uh, in order to set this up, you would need admin privileges. You need to be your instance, or you need to be an instance admin. So let's go over to the admin settings page and something you notice here is that there's a new option for embed settings. So you can choose to allow embedding everywhere such that all domains or all applications can embed your apps in apps or you can choose to go the other way around and disable embedding everywhere which is going to be very extreme or a more balanced approach would be to specify what domains or URLs you want to have the ability to embed your apps in apps, which is what we'll be taking a look at in today's video. And as you can see by default, all domains are actually allowed and AppSmith itself is allowed to embed apps in apps. So that is what you see in these two options. So th these are what the options mean. So for today's setup, I have a super regular app which shows a bunch of robot users. This is the app I'm going to be embedding and I have Two domains set up to embed my AppSmith app. So I have this very good app, um, app which is embedding my AppSmith app right now, and also have this very bad app, app which is also embedding my AppSmith app right now. Something you notice is that we are asked to sign in into that app. That is because we didn't make the app public. So the moment we make the app public and we head back to reload the two apps which are embedding our AppSmith application. You see that we now have access to the robot app, right? So I'm also going to reload this. And uh, the very bad app actually also has access to the AppSmith app. But we don't really want that, right? We want certain domains we approve of to embed our AppSmith app, even though it's public. So we can actually fix that. I'm going to go ahead to copy the domain of my very good app and head back to AppSmith. Let us um, edit the limited, the limited URLs and actually have that added. So I'm just going to delete all of these right now and let's add the domain for my very good app. All right, this looks good. All right, and I'm going to save and restart. And this should be back up in a minute or two. All right, so we are back and it seems our settings has been applied. Um, just a quick pause check. We want to make sure that this app is still public. And as you can see, uh, this app should be available from a very good app domain to which we are allowed to embed our AppSmith apps. It still works just fine, but trying to check this app out on the very bad domain should fail. So let's reload the window. And as you can see, we don't have access to this app on the very bad domain. Or for that case, for any other domain which is not in the very good app domain. So that's the rule we have specified here and I'm so happy it works well. Now I'm going to jump over into showing you how to um, configure embedding using the CLI method. Over here I have a terminal open and this terminal has access to my AppSmith instance and if I do a quick ls uh, you can see that this is actually my AppSmith instance. So let's see into stacks and configuration and uh, we can edit the docker env file which actually saves all of your secrets. So let's do vim docker env and here what we can do is search for embed all right and you can see that uh, if you take a look at this line right here this is the line specifying what domains can access my asset instance if you want to have more you just go in to add a comma and add a different domain and that should be okay then you go ahead to restart your uh, docker 
instant and everything should be good. All right, so that's how easy it is to set up embedding restrictions, both on the CLI and also on the GUI. This has been a quick video, but I know it's going to go a long way to helping you make your apps more secure. If you love to learn more about security, we made a video here on how to set up um, role level security using Postgres. And if you want to check out something different, we made a video right here to show you how to import CSV files into Firebase. So go check that out too. All right, so I'll see you next time. Don't forget to get subscribed. Take care. Bye-bye.